Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to read Rhino Makes a Friend. Rhino always played with Hapo and the Giraffe. They were Rhino's friends. They played together every day. Rhino said he only ever wanted to play with Hapo and the Giraffe. He said they would be his best friends forever. But one weekend, Hapo and the Giraffe couldn't play. Hapo was going to stay with his granny. He said his granny made the best cakes. Giraffe was going to visit his cousins. He said his cousins were breathing fun. Rhino was sad. He had no one to play with. Mom had a good idea. She said Rhino could go to holiday camp. She said he would have fun and make lots of new friends. Rhino was worried. What if he didn't know anyone there? He wasn't sure he wanted to make new friends either. He only liked playing with Hippo and the Giraffe, but Mom said it was good to make new friends. The next morning, Rhino went to holiday camp. Everyone was having lots of fun, but Rhino didn't know anyone. He felt a bit scared. Mr. Bear asked him what he would like to do first. Rhino saw the art table. He said he would go there first. Everyone was making a big painting. Everyone was taking turns to share the big brush. But Rhino didn't want to wait, and he didn't want to share. He just took the brush. Worse still, he knocked over the paint and spoiled the painting. Everyone was cross with him. They said he couldn't join in if he wouldn't share. Rhino was upset. Then Rhino saw Panther doing a jigsaw puzzle. Panther said it was a tricky piece. Panther said they could work together to finish it. He said they should talk about where the pieces might fit before putting them in. But Rhino didn't want to talk. He grabbed a piece and pushed it in anyway. Worse still, the piece didn't fit. Panther was cross with Rhino for spoiling the puzzle. Rhino was upset. He felt lonely, and he wished he could make some new friends. But he didn't know how. He saw Mr. Bear. He asked Miss Bear to help him. Rhino told Mr. Bear why he was upset. Mr. Bear listened carefully. He asked Rhino why he would feel if someone didn't take turns nicely or share. Rhino said he wouldn't like it at all. He said he wouldn't like it if someone spoiled his jigsaw puzzle either. He wished he had talked to Panther first. Mr. Bear asked Rhino what he could do to put things right. Rhino had to think. He said he should say sorry to the others for spoiling things. He said he should ask if he could play with them. He said he could take turns and share nicely too. He said he should talk to others when working together. Mr. Bear said they were all very good ideas. He said they were good ways to make friends. Rhino said sorry to everyone. He asked nicely to join in with the football game. He took turns to play skittles. Everyone said Rhino was good fun. Everyone wanted to play with him. Best of all, Rhino helped Panther build a plane together. They worked out how to build it. Rhino remembered to take turns. He remembered to share nicely. It was the best plane ever. Panther said Rhino was a good friend. Rhino was pleased. Soon it was time to go home. Rhino told Mom that holiday camp was great. He said he had made lots of new friends, especially Panther. He said it was nice to have old friends like Hippo and the Giraffe, but it was nice to make new friends too. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
press the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload. If you know anyone who would be interested in stories like this, make sure to share with them.